addiction to spirituality. Lien had been meditating for many years before consulting with me for his depression. He had been part of a spiritual community that encouraged their members to turn to God through prayer and meditation whenever they were feeling any difficult or painful feelings such as anger, hurt, anxiety, or depression. He had been taught that spirit would transmute his feelings for him and bring him the peace he sought. Yet Lien was depressed. I have faithfully practiced what I had been taught, so why am I still depressed? What am I doing wrong? Lien was suffering from what is called spiritual bypass. Spiritual bypass occurs when people use their spiritual practice as a way to avoid dealing with and taking responsibility for their feelings. Anything that is used to avoid feeling and taking responsibility for feelings becomes an addiction, whether it is alcohol, drugs, food, TV, work, gambling, spending, shopping, anger, withdrawal, and meditation. If, when a difficult or painful feeling comes up, you immediately go into meditation in the hopes of blissing out and getting rid of the feeling, you may be addicted to spirituality. It all depends on what your intent is when you are meditating. People can meditate for two totally different reasons, to avoid pain or to learn about love. If you are meditating to connect with yourself and your spiritual guidance in order to learn more about loving yourself and others, then meditation is a good way to get out of your head and into your heart. It is a good way to connect with a loving part of yourself so that you can welcome and embrace your painful feelings and learn what you may be doing or thinking that is causing your own pain. When your intent is to be loving to yourself and take responsibility for your own feelings, then meditation can help you become centered and compassionate enough to do an inner exploration with your feeling self. However, if you are using meditation to bliss out and avoid your pain, you are using your spirituality addictively. You are using your spirituality to bypass learning about and taking responsibility for your feelings. This is what Lien was doing. Because he was avoiding learning from his feelings, he was continuing to think and behave in ways toward himself and others that caused him to feel depressed. Then, instead of exploring what he was doing that was causing his feeling self, his inner child, to feel depressed, he was meditating to try to get rid of the feelings. In his work with me, Lien discovered that he was constantly either ignoring his inner child, his feeling self, or he was in self-judgment. The combination of ignoring himself, which he did primarily through meditation, and judging himself resulted in his inner child feeling unloved, unimportant, and unseen. Lien saw that if he treated his actual children in the way he treated himself, ignoring their feelings and constantly judging them, they would also feel badly and may be depressed. But Lien did attend to his actual children's feelings and needs. It was his own that he was ignoring and judging. Lien realized that he was treating himself the way his parents had treated him. He was a much better parent to his children than his parents had been with him, but he was parenting his own inner child in the way he had been parented. He was not only treating himself the way he had been treated, he was treating himself the way his parents had treated themselves. As a result, he was not being a good role model for his children of personal responsibility for his own feelings, just as his parents had been a poor role model for him. In the course of working with me, Lien learned the inner bonding process that we teach. He learned to welcome his painful feelings during meditation. He learned to quiet the self-judgmental part of himself and to treat himself with caring and respect. He learned to take loving action in his own behalf so that his inner child no longer felt abandoned by him. It was the inner abandonment that was causing his depression. He discovered that his depression was actually a gift, a way his inner child was letting him know that he was not being loving to himself. With practice, Lien learned to take loving care of himself and his depression disappeared. Now his meditation practice was no longer a spiritual bypass. For more content like this, please visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info. All rights reserved. Discover the proven formula for automated sales and success that you can apply to your business in under 30 minutes. Reserve your seat at allsuper.info/webinar.